here we are with the eminence in shadow episode one so yeah if you like what you see leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and i would say let's get to the episode oh hello <laughs> great start lots of trophies Find Darwin Volume 3. And it gets better. <laughs> Great first episode already. Alone at home. Typical Japanese child life in Japan in anime. With no parents at home. So she is somewhat rich, I would say. She has like a driver. This is definitely different than I thought it would be. I thought the guy was the main character and we just see the, the girl from the get-go. <clears throat> Student council president. Is this maybe the guy? I don't know. Okay. Man, her hair. He has some dead eyes. What does he have in his bag? It sounds heavy. <laughs> this is interesting to say the least, I would say. Oh, that's why she doesn't like him? She wants attention? Yeah, I guess she likes attention, right? Oh.
I have to read that later. Okay, honor student. Which is interesting, she had a stalker problem but still wants to be popular, which means that everyone is like looking for her, right? Looking at her, looking for her, looking after her. <clears throat> Is this our boy? He plays piano? <laughs> this is nothing what I expected here in this anime. It's so different from what I thought would going be going on. I mean, I didn't have any expectations really because I didn't saw much of the trailers or anything. Um, <clears throat> but I didn't expect the, this with the focus on her and all that stuff. Because I thought the main character was a guy. Or her driver. What is going on? Are they maybe going after her? Oh, is it starting now? <laughs> oh. And here they come. Look like the suit of the guy that punched the driver. Maybe not. Yep. Yep, it's them. <clears throat> oh, and he is here too. Just watching. Oh, is it him? Yep. He's training, right? He wants to get stronger, I guess, so... <laughs> is he like a vigilante? Dressing, uh, like, covering up himself at night with, like, a mask and stuff to do good deeds or something? And that's why he would be so tired, because if he's out at night the whole time, doing stuff like this, he doesn't get a lot of sleep. Kind of like Batman. Hmm. 
What the fuck? Our boy comes in and saves the day. Let's go. The guy she likes the, the least comes in and saves her. <laughs> okay, let's see what's going on now. Stylish Duck Slayer? What the fuck? And he looks big. Damn. <laughs> oh, he wants a one on one. Okay. Oh. <laughs> this is <clears throat> of course the classic blade lick with the blood what is a crowbar I guess so. I guess it makes perfect sense. Dude, punching some crowbars must be very painful. Is he taking the gun? <laughs> Oh. oh, I guess it's, it has lots of potential, right? <laughs> Ski Mask Berserker. I use the pointy ends. <laughs> oh my god he goes at it hell yeah <laughs> he's like batman a young batman just more brutal without a cape He cuts her loose. He doesn't. He isn't hurting her. Mm hmm. And he's gone. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Assemble all the weapon, tied them up. So that the police can come and pick them up and everything. Eminence of Shadow, what is that? Like nothing happened. <clears throat> Here he is again. Didn't she say it's Nishino? She's so used that he does a mistake. To know that he got did it, that he got it right. It changed. Is this a fake death? Wait, we are only at 17 minutes. What? Oh, there's... Okay, there's more. Okay. I guess this is a fake death, so that he can get out of the school life stuff, right? And then starts to do this emin eminence of shadow thingy, whatever that is. He says he is not good enough for that, but what is it? Is that something that is like not just anime specific here, or is that something that we have already in the like real world that has a meaning? I have to Google, Google that to see if that has like a meaning in the real world for us or something like that. I have never heard of it, if there is a meaning. So I would assume that it's just anime specific. Hmm. But yeah, very weird, I would say. <laughs> I mean, that's very true. There's only so much you can do.
What the fuck? Are we in a different timeline now? What? Oh, did he get e Did he isekai? What the fuck? <laughs> okay, it wasn't a fake death. Okay, that's a bit... <laughs> I need more power. <laughs> I'm super confused, <laughs> not gonna lie. Okay, listen to, I guess this is the outro, I guess. I'm <clears throat> super confused. I think I keep all my thoughts for the end right after this is done. I'm, I'm confused, but I guess it makes sense. But what the fuck? Dude, I'm, <laughs> I'm confused. I repeat myself. I'm confused. <laughs> Why do they have bright stuff on now? From dark to bright. Maybe it depends if they work at night or at daytime. <laughs> Bro, I'm so confused. Okay, that was episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, I'm super duper mega confused. <clears throat> so I guess the story, the real story, begins in episode two. I guess um, episode one was just like build up. I guess um, because, like I said, I think the main character is the guy, right, the boy. Um, and we barely saw anything of him in episode one. He was more like a side character. So I guess the eminence in Shadow is nothing from the real world that we would know, right? I guess it's like anime specific here. And like I said at the end, he doesn't want to be the hero. He doesn't want to be the villain. He wants to be the eminence in Shadow, which I guess is <clears throat> more something like a vigilante, something like Batman where he doesn't want to get all the credits for good deeds as a hero or he doesn't want to be the bad guy because both of those things mean he is in the spotlight he wants to be in the shadow so he wants to do all that stuff i guess justice stuff right doing the good things but in a way that no one can acknowledge him for it i guess is what he means with the eminence in shadow right <clears throat> is my guess 
He wants to be the good guy without all the glory, basically. <clears throat> and so he isekai'd himself, I guess? Which makes sense, because I know from the trailer that this is, that all these girls have like elf ears, cat ears, um, <clears throat> I think tails too? So it makes sense that he has to isekai or something, because that's not something you get in the normal human world, right? Unless they would dress up, which I think would be weird. So it, I guess it makes sense that he isekai'd himself, but I mean... How did he know that it would work? Did he just assume, like, oh yeah, let's do it. Let's see if it works. Because in the real world, I can only do so much. And eventually I will run into problems that I can't escape. And then I'm basically dead. Like, if he goes against soldiers and they kill him. Or he would lose against him and then ends up in jail. Or when an atomic bomb comes and just kills him, right? Um... I mean, he. <clears throat> this whole part with the. I, like I said, I think it's not a fake death to get out of school, right? I guess he died for real? To get easy. Let, let me check. Is this an easy guy? I'm so confused. Eminem in shadows. My animal list. Let's see. Is this an easy guy? Easy guy, yep. I mean, he said reincarnation and easy. Uh, yeah. Um. <clears throat> <clears throat> so I guess he just tried it, right? Let's see if I die and get reincarnated. But I mean, he couldn't even know where he would end up, right? He doesn't know if he would end up in a time where it maybe is even worse. If he even gets powers or whatever. He just it seems like he was just like at the end of this rope in the normal world, right? At the dead end where he's like, okay, there isn't much more I can do here. So... Might as well try Isekai if that works. So let's just die. If it ends with that, then I'm dead. Otherwise, I'm I'm in the Isekai world. Maybe then I can do what I want to do. It, it, it seems so weird, right? Otherwise, because other Isekais, they just die by accident, right? They don't plan it, but he did it on purpose so that he can achieve his goal in an Isekai world. But like I said, I repeat myself, I, I repeat myself, I know, but he didn't know it would work, right? So that's super confusing. And this whole beginning part with the girl and all that stuff. <clears throat> feels so weird, I mean, we had the perspective of the girl. She is like, from what it seems like. So, to wrap it up, she, young age, did some movie stuff, right? Was popular, got a stalker, he kidnapped her tried to mm her, -hmm, right? But we don't know if he actually did mm -hmm, her. The one with the big R, A, E, E. Mm -hmm. Um. I mean, let's just skip that part. Um. So yeah, that happened to her. And now, since then, she tried to do different life where she is like an honor student, good, nice to teach us and all that stuff, popular, so that all the uh, classmates and stuff look up to her and all that stuff, which I think, like I said, I think it's weird that you have, like, this whole scandal that you got kidnapped because you were staring, uh, staring in movies, and you were popular somewhat, to the point that you got a stalker, and <clears throat> then you get out of that stuff and you still want to be popular and want everyone to look up to you and know you and bond over you. Which I would say just le could lead to the same stuff. That there's someone that takes it too far and kidnaps you again. But now he ha her family has this whole conglomerate and has lots of enemies and so someone else kidnapped her. Not for the same reason, but... Went into the same direction if our boy didn't come in. Yeah. Makes sense that all these heavy sounds from his back sound heavy because he has weights and shit in it, right? True train because he wants to get stronger. Um, but yeah, it's, it's weird that we get this perspective of the girl. And then it ends up, goes into the boy's perspective somewhat. 
that he's like a vigilante trying to do the good thing in real life while not being acknowledged by it and then to the point that he's just like yep yeah, let's die and try to become yeah, try to get easy kite sorry um This whole perspective of like <clears throat> the beginning with the girl and everything it's kind of weird right i don't know uh if there's more meaning to it that i just missed you can let me know if you want but it's interesting i would say the whole thing that she's the focus and then maybe i mean if you see the trailer or if you know the manga i mean if you know the manga then you know all of that stuff already if you see the trailer, then you already know what to expect, I guess. That the main that the main character is a guy, right? So I don't know, is this maybe to divert expectations? Start the episode or manga, whatever, in one way and then divert expectations to swap over to the guy that he's the main character. I don't know, it, it feels like you get some character development of this girl. I mean not really, right? Is the character development we get her backstory and find out how everything end up this way what did she say at the end here let me check she went to school good morning he remembered her name she's so used to him not knowing her name or getting her name wrong that she just expected that he said the wrong name even though he did the wrong uh, even though he said the right name And then she says, "Didn't mis uh, he didn't mistake my name?" And I notice he's really looking at me this time. Yeah, he seemed way happier, right? This time, not so like lifeless, emotionless. Um, is leading a masked life just as I do. Kagenokun. Somehow, I just have that feeling. But now I have no way. Conf uh, to confirm that i guess that because it, that was like in her mind right and it happened when he was walking away and they were at the lockers again but because she, i was confused when she said but now i have no way to confirm that i guess this is like thoughts from after he died right so he died and those are the thoughts of her after she got the news that he died that she's like okay i can't confirm it anymore because he died I guess because if he didn't die then why couldn't she confirm it that he lives a masked life and all that stuff so that's why i think it happened afterward uh, afterwards and yeah truck kun strikes again truck kun killed him <laughs> and then yeah we have the whole thing with the end where we basically get his side he wants to be a hero from the beginning and all that stuff but turned out now that he doesn't want to be a hero and he doesn't want to be a villain so he wants to be more in the shadows and stuff he honed his skills, always tried to be average and not stand out. <clears throat> and now he is in this weird timeline. It looks like London a bit, I would say. With the tower, with the clock, I think, that looked a bit like Big Ben. Not completely, like far from it, I would say. But I don't know, I would say it looked a bit London-ish. And we have like um, steam, or not steam, but like a coal locks on the street that drive around and carriages driving around and everything looks like a bit older right not futuristic or like uh, our timeline right and we have cat girls and everything and he has his what of like girls with elf ears cat ears and all that stuff lots of them and i guess he does his vigilante work and he could summon what did he summon? He summoned something, right? He summoned... It seems like he has powers, right? Obviously, because he's Isekai, I guess there are powers. He summoned something. I think he summoned a gun or something. Or a sword. Um, but yeah, um, <clears throat> very interesting, right? Um, not what I expected. Because all I saw from the trailer a bit, what I saw uh, is that he had this cloak thing going on and he has a squad of girls and all that stuff. And that's about it right and i don't know what the whole premise is but now from what i get here it seems like he wants to do this vigilante work i would say 
and has the skills that he uses for that. We will see how it goes, right? But I, like I said, I feel like the whole beginning with the girl being kidnapped and everything, and he being like more side character, and then turn out to be the main character, was a bit confusing, was a bit weird. And then just getting easy kite because I mean, like I said, he had no way of knowing that it would work right, and that he would get what he wants right in that world. Even if he is a kite, he had no way of knowing that it would work the way he would like it to work right. So. It's very interesting and confusing, but I liked it so far. I can't wait to see where it's going, which makes me wonder, is the girl from this episode, is she completely gone and we will never see her again? Because like I said, we had some build up on her, right? She was the main focus of the episode and now she's maybe completely gone. But if she's not completely gone, then how would it work out? Which is also interesting because um, we saw at the end now in the ending that him and his girls what going to school is that just like some end scene end credits thing or is this actually something that happens in the anime that they go to school and all that stuff uh, yeah i'm mostly confused but i liked it i definitely watch more of this i can't wait for more so yeah if you like what you saw leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think or tell me if I miss something. So yeah, I want to repeat it. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching until next time. Bye bye.